Hey, what's up everyone? It's Roder Mary Bet Speaking, bringing the best, most consistent and transparent betting strategy for you. In this video, I'll be covering UFC 253, the prelims, so the rest of the fights that I haven't covered in the previous videos. If you're familiar to my channel, you'll know how to use the spreadsheet to your best uh, interest. If you're not, hang on a second, I'll be soon explaining to you. In respect to everyone's time, there is uh, in the description links to the each fight in the timings, you know, so you just click the time, you can hover over to the fights and breakdowns, okay? What I mean the, by the most consistent and transparent betting strategy, this is uh, the spreadsheet that I'm keeping track of my overall numbers from the beginning of this channel, which was July 2020. Basically, 43% of the overall betting money, 173% if I'm summing the profit and loss of each event, okay? And this is also broken down in charts so it becomes more visible how did they do in july on august and now in september okay in terms of the confidence level of the bets and what i mean by that is uh, if it's a high confidence level bet i have two bets that i made one got right that this is the overall profit from everything this is for the medium confidence bet this is for the low confidence bet and everything is explicit here you know so yellow means it's a medium confidence bet in the Red means low, okay? So on to the fight breakdown. I'm gonna be breaking down the the prelims, like I said, so I have already covered the early prelims. So Juan Espino, Jeff Hughes are, have already covered and Ibrajimo versus Danilo Marcus. Plus the main event, the main card I have also already covered. Take a look in the, in the description for the videos, okay? Also like and subscribe and share with your friends if you like this idea. Okay, so Let's uh, move forward and uh, break down this fight for you guys. Alexa Kamer versus William Knight. Now, how do I see this fight playing out, guys? Basically, it's not that easy for me to call because I haven't seen much footage on Knight. I couldn't watch that uh, Dana White Contender Series fight. The video, the video was not available for me. What I saw in terms of comments is that uh, Knight got probably his back taken or at least he was being out grappled by the other guy. I forgot his name. But a knight came on top because of his physicality, because of his power, you know. And uh, Kamer, I, I was able to find videos on him, so he's kind of a decent well-round well fighter. He's you know likes to jump in, throw some powerful hooks. He also has a very good switch, left kick from uh, from the orthodox stance. So, but basically, I don't see much uh, much much anything outstanding you know to be honest and Kamer you know he's kind of a decent fighter like I said but I don't know he he also has, he has a little bit power and everything but I, I haven't I don't I don't like much his style to be honest and I think Knight's physical skills will be uh, the, the the difference here I think uh, Knight will be able to either push him against the clinch or at least war on him and if he gets taken down he can again scramble come on top and if he eat some shots He'll try to wrestle, he'll try to go for, to make the fight ugly, and I think this will be pretty pretty much enough to, to take the win here. Now, I'm obviously not confident on this bet, but I do think there is some value on Knight at plus and four, so it's kind of a blind bet, and um, nonetheless, it's quite aggressive, but I think it's worth it, you know, to try here at plus and four. And if you don't agree with me, if you think Kamer will win this fight, my suggestion is for you to bet Kamer on a decision. I think Knight's too tough to be TKO'd by a not so powerful Kamer. Shen Yang versus Ludovic Klein. This is a very interesting fight. Actually, Young he's, has a pretty predictable style. It's quite effective. He likes to be aggressive, to stay in the in the middle of the octagon, controlling the the, the fight, being aggressive, push the guy against the fence, throwing lots of strikes. But uh, he's not, he's quite technical, but it's not sort of something outstanding. He can get hit, you know, he can get taken down, I think, you know. I haven't seen that much he being taken down, but I think he can, you know. And um, he's not afraid to eat a punch, which is good in terms of uh, the guy has the will, the heart to win the fight, but he's quite susceptible to get getting hit. Now, Klein, he's a very interesting, well-rounded fighter, you know. I like his style, to be honest, he's not the one who throws much volume, so the downfall here, in my opinion, is that Klein doesn't, he likes a little bit of the output, like I said, but uh, he makes up on the technique, you know, great kickboxing, he uses his kicks very nicely, he has tip kicks, push kicks, 
he throws to the body, he kind of combos that with straight right hands, you know, sharp striking, you know, good straight punches also, eventually he goes for overhands, he can explode, you know, he can have creative combos with knees and everything, you know, so he's a complete fighter, he's a very well-rounded fighter, uh, not, not very well-rounded, actually, he's a very good kickboxer, but he makes up on the other uh, styles, you know, decent clinching, he can wrestle a little bit, he also can grapple, he can throw arm bars from, from the back, so he kind of makes up, he's a decent MMA fighter. I would be very much tempted to bet Klein here, I think I'm, uh, actually this pick is not correct, I'm picking actually Klein, in my bet here. So, I think Klein will be able to TKO Young, but uh, the thing is that it's his debut, you know, he's the one who throws less volume, you know. And Young is so young and tough, no pun intended. So I don't, I'm not sure he'll be able. Actually, Klein will be able to TKO Young. I do think he'll be able to do better, but I'm not sure the judges will agree because Young will be the guy pushing the pace. So the best thing, in my opinion, here is to stay away from this fight. I would say definitely do not bet Young because Klein has way more potential to win this fight. But uh, I would be interested in betting Klein if I can get him in plus money. Nowadays, it's kind of pick and fight, pick and level. I'm not uh, be too aggressive here to bet Klein. But uh, if he comes to plus 120, plus 130, I'll be definitely taking a stab into Klein. And I'll get, let you guys know if I do. Jake Matthews versus Diego Sanchez. Cool fight, actually. Interesting fight to bet, in my opinion. I'm, I'm betting Sanchez with a low confidence level. And uh, just to break down real quick, Matthews, big, uh, strong guy for as a welterweight, super young, 20 to 26 years, has power on the hands, you know, quite heavy-handed naturally, good hooks, you know, he's improving his strikes pretty well, you know, he can now fight a little bit behind the jab, you know, throw some overhands here and there, but uh, his forte is his his top game in um, in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, but he doesn't have much of the wrestling to back it up. Like I said, he's a strong, a young guy, explosive. He can shoot a double leg, good timing on it, but he doesn't. He doesn't have the chain wrestling. At least he hasn't showed that much. Actually, I've seen probably some single leg to a body lock, some kind of thing, but he doesn't use that quite often. At least you know. Now Sanchez, everybody knows him. Tough guy, super aggressive, nasty, aggressive, nasty cardio. And uh, the striking. He kind of can throw the strikes pretty predictable, you know, like double stomp and, and right hand, but he does a quite a good job to throw the overhand. He can catch guys through it at some speed and uh, some power. But in a welterweight, he's quite small. He's also 38 years old. So Sanchez, he's, uh, he's, he has had his time, but he's still tough. He's still coming to win this fight. You can be certain of that. Plus, I think he, he has got some critics when he fought... Uh, Michel Pereira, he was not able to get inside, you know, he was kind of just eating shots from the outside. I think he'll, he'll get those critics to his heart and he'll be able to push the pace here like he did against Mickey Gall, against Michael Chiesa that are quite similar to Matthews at some, at some point. You know? Now, Matthews is definitely the favorite, guys. I'm not going to lie. I think Matthews will be able to TKO, but Sanchez, he's so tough that he will eat those shots, he'll get inside, he'll throw try to wrestle and grapple with Matthews, and Sanchez has enough level to, to do that, you know, even being a small guy from the top, he, he's able to control guys pretty well, he's able to shoot, you know, consistently, and he'll be able to, even if he gets taken down on his from his back, he'll be able to scramble, get those under hooks, go for like locks, so he'll make it a fight, This uh, I have no doubt about it, you know, and if he doesn't get TKO'd, he'll actually make it a pretty close fight, and I do think he's uh, worse to bet him, you know, I would be betting him at plus 380, but now it's like plus 500, so this line is very big, and you know, and the guys who are coming back to my channel know how I, how I, what do I think about this kind of line, you know, so definitely Sanchez has, has some chances, and the bet is definitely on Sanchez, you know, now if you don't agree with me, go for Matthews for like TKO or even submission, but do not throw uh, Matthews on a parlay or something at least you know in a straight in a straight line because uh, this is definitely not worth it guys this is at the end of the day you never know what can happen you know some illegal strike guy guys can you know break something on in the middle of the scrambles you just never know you know so this is too steep line to bet Matthews in my opinion I like Sanchez like I said but if you do not agree with me please my advice for you is stay away from this from this fight okay
Now, Brad Riddell versus Alex the Silva Coelho. Or Coelho, as you guys would pronounce probably in English. So, actually, this is the, the fight that I'm most confident to bet. I'm betting Coelho, even though I'm picking Riddell. Because to me, this is a nearly picking fight. Riddell, he has the striking. Has probably, not probably, he has more power than Coelho. In terms of physical strengths, it's pretty even, you know, even Bredel being a little bit more muscular and more, and more thick than Coelho. I think, you know, physically it's pretty even, you know, both of these guys are quite young, Coelho is quite long, you know, so he can make it up for that lack of mus muscularity. And, uh, you know, Riddell, he's like, a, like I say here, you know, he's striking his forte, he has great timing on the counters, you know, good the straight punches. Great to take down defense, like I said, strong guy, tough to hold down. And uh, can also grapple a little bit, has good takedowns, you know, good training camp. But uh, I haven't seen much volume from him, and also he's kind of entering a brawl and he gets tired and hit. And like I said, it's nothing outstanding. The, the striking is good, he has power, he can do things very well on the feet, he has the striking advantage. But in my opinion, it's like, uh, it's not like... Uh, different levels you know it's kind of similar levels you know with Coelho now Coelho he has like a effective grappling style he uses this body his body weight very well you know and uh, striking is also not bad itself he's more square than I like but uh, still he's he's quite uh, you know decent overall now why do I think uh, Coelho is actually a, a live dog here basically because of his effective style of grappling you know he, he's gonna try to get inside and even he if he doesn't do by striking, he's gonna probably force the issue here. Make Riddell, you know, wrestle and uh, wear those muscles with uh, blood. And uh, I'm not sure that Riddell will be able to be that effective after he's tired, you know. And after getting tired, I think the wrestler in Coelho, he's not the best wrestler, but he can chain wrestle a little bit, you know. And he can use uh, his body weight quite effectively, effectively uses the, the clinch pretty well, you know, with the body locks and everything. So I think it's a close fight, and uh, Riddell, small favorite in my opinion, but I do like Coelho in a bet because I got him at 2, two plus, plus 260, which is a great bet in my opinion, okay? That's why I'm uh, adding to as a medium confidence level, okay? Now, if you don't uh, agree with me, I would say go for Riddell by decision, because uh, despite his, his power and his, you know, quite heavy-handed style, I don't think he's going to be able to... TKO Coelho. Okay, the rest of the fights are main main event main card, and just to wrap this up, how how I'm betting the card and how I'm betting these fights. So as we have discussed, uh, Diego Sanchez definitely worth a bet in my opinion. I'm throwing 1.75 percent of my money on him, at plus 500. I'm also betting William Knight, like we discussed, because of the physical skills. I'm skipping Ludovic Klein versus Shane Young, even though I like Klein to win this fight, I'd be interested to bet him at plus 130. And uh, what else we got here? And uh, like the, the last one was Brad Riddell versus Alex Coelho da Silva, I'm betting Coelho and I'm throwing him on a straight bet plus a parlay. Actually I'm gonna... Actually let me think this one, I think it's a good bet to keep it 2% plus one and a half percent of parlay and uh, on the main card like uh, I said in the other video so we'll take a look in the breakdowns but uh, I like Paulo Costa I like Ketlin Vieira I like um, Brandon Royval at plus 200 and I'm skipping the bet on Dominic Reyes versus Jan Blachowicz and I'm uh, I bet to Hugov at plus 100 okay on a straight line all right guys that's it for this video i hope you enjoyed i hope you you appreciate the experience and and the, the work here and the consistency and everything transparent like i said for you guys if you did please like the video subscribe share with your friends and uh, until the next time this is rather my bad speaking bringing the best most consistent and transparent betting strategy for you